Hey guys, what's up? It's Caleb with Black Pearl Media. Thank you so much for stopping by. And in this video, we're gonna fix a big problem with a small part. Let's get into it. So here is the deal, the basic breakdown. Tomorrow I am going to the track, Thompson Speedway for the first time uh, since this car has been rear mount turbocharged and doubled its horsepower. Now I will have a video separate coming out after this video, pretty much soon after. I wanna get these both out pretty quickly. But I am running a meth kit in the 350Z and it has a little quark that has potential danger to it. For those of you who don't know, a meth kit is designed for safety. It introduces a methanol mixture called boost juice into the injectors to help cool the engine down during pulls. So basically, when I'm in boost, there is methanol or a mixture of methanol called boost juice going into the intakes, cooling the engine. But when I get off the throttle, there's still a little bit left over and that kind of freaks out the ECU. So the tune basically says, oh my gosh, it's running too lean and it shuts the car off. So if I don't give it a little bit of gas after I do a pull, the car will shut off. Makes it a little bit tough to steer. You can still steer and you have to turn the car back on. Um, but it's a problem. It's not something that I'm comfortable with. Um, I have driven it around like that for, you know, seven, eight months and it's fine. I can kind of manipulate the throttle and give it a little extra gas so that it doesn't have that issue, but I don't want to think about it. So that's where, this comes into handy. This little part right here should solve all my problems. So this is the part here. This is a little AEM solenoid switch, and essentially it connects to the meth injection system. And so uh, from my understanding, when you take your foot off the gas, it sends a signal to this and it shuts off the flow of boost juice and prevents that access being built up and uh, pre uh, preventing the car from shutting off, which that's what we want. So we're gonna try and install this. I'm over at Nick's house and uh, we'll see if we can do this quick and easy. And if we can't, then I don't know, we'll be screwed, I guess, but uh, this should be easy. All right, so as you guys can see, we go to the back here, there's the tank for the boost juice, AM, and then it gets routed all the way up here. You can see it tees off right here. And then these lines come in, they feed into the intakes right, right before the throttle body and that's on both sides. So we gotta add the switch right before the T section and that will cut the supply and hopefully prevent this from turning off. All right, we pulled it inside from the rain, so uh, we're gonna remove this breather hose to kind of change the direction of the line, which, did you already do it? Oh. Um, but yeah, so then we're gonna attach the solenoid and wire it up. So I'm just gonna time lapse this because I don't know what I'm doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> you guys should follow him on Instagram. He's really great. <laughs> Nick made of money. I'm a, I'm a tag it. All right. He's my boy. He's my boy. Go follow him. He helps me out a lot. I never once claimed to be a mechanic or know anything about cars, but I'm, I, I got the resources and I know how to ask for help. <laughs> That's pretty much what it boils down to, right? Yeah. If you don't know what, if you don't know what to do or how to do something, or at least get the general idea, like I get how this is supposed to work, but I don't have a lot of confidence when it comes to anything electrical. Like it scares me and I think it scares a lot of people. And if you have other people that are really into you know sound systems and really really smart or a lot smarter than you then you know just ask worst i could say is no i hate you and everything you bring to my house is garbage <laughs> and nick said that probably a few times during our friendship but sometimes not so you get them on a good day <laughs> all right let's get this thing installed it's right. dark
All right, guys, so I just wanted to finish off this video here. It got really dark during the install, so I just wanted to recap here. So we uh, attached the solenoid here. I drilled two holes and we just zip tied it. Then under here is the battery tray. And what we did was we added this together with a fuse. And one, uh, so, so, all right, let me back up here. This has two black wires off of it. That's it, two black wires. One comes up here and gets attached to the battery itself, which we did down here. The other wire, we had to use an extension. So we shoved it through the firewall and we fished it through here. So it's under here, under the carpet, and then up through here, and it gets attached to the controller. So this is my AEM meth controller. And there is a brown wire with a white stripe that comes off of there. So you attach it onto that. So one of the black wires goes to the engine, the other one goes to the controller. Easy as that. Now I can't drive the car right now because it's actually broken. I broke it at the track yesterday. That's not good. But I will go ahead and let you know that it did fix the issue. The car was not turning off. Um, at the track while we were there, you know, getting into boost, coming off of boost in a tight corner, there was no signs of it shutting off at all. That was my number one concern. So that little solenoid fixes a huge problem. So I hope this helps and keep an eye out for the video where we take it to the track. It's a little bit dramatic. So that's coming out soon. I will see you on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.